Hey, what's up guys? Uh, first, I just want to say thanks for watching our channel. Please subscribe and uh, share it with your friends. All right, so today I'm going to give you a little in-depth look at a few of the pieces that we use for snow removal, which is a big part of our family business here. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, wing plows, some of the tractors, loaders, skid loaders, a truck, and then uh, the push boxes. All right, first here, we have a John Deere 544K high lift. Uh, it's a machine that we actually own, and it's outfitted with an Arctic sectional snow pusher, but it's got the great brand on the side already. Snow be so gone. Anyway, the benefits of this machine here, well, for one, that loader's incredible. Stacks snow, pushes really well. But this pusher design, if you can see the break in it right there, that's, that's why they call it a sectional. Those actually can contour and move up and down. And then the cutting edge at the bottom has a trip mechanism that if you hit something, it actually springs back. So how those contour, if you look behind here, there's these rubber blocks that are your best friend for contour and your worst enemy when they break in the middle of the night. But then on here, you can see the slots and the side panels, which is an awesome design. These can go up and down when you hit a curb. Overall, we love the Arctic pushers. The downfall for us is just downtime. It's impossible to not break those blocks. I know they, Arctic will tell you that if you don't stack snow and this and that, they won't break. That's fine, but tell your customers that. Like I said, we like those, but there's some other technology on the market that's maybe even a little better. In some areas, other areas not. This is actually a Deer 244L little mini wheel loader really handy little unit you might ask why we have different sizes but every property is a little different you know this machine does better for a big property this one does better on small ones but we kind of interchange and use them for a lot of different things so next we have a deer 244l it's outfitted with what's called a metal plus pusher i know the name's a little funny but it's canadian can't judge them for the name but anyway, this pusher also, it's a, the, the mold board itself, which is this area, uh, that's all solid. But down below, you see there's brakes every two feet or so. And then this cutting edge here actually springs and goes up and down inside there. So when you put this on the ground, there's springs behind it that actually uh, hold it to the pavement. So it can contour to the pavement as well. The wings on this one are fixed. But the, yet the skid shoe on the side can go up and down, uh, which isn't quite as good as the Arctic design on the wings, but it's decent. So on the back side here, the actual hitch where it hooks up, you see there, that actually goes up and down and the blade can oscillate side to side. So don't judge us for how dirty they are. They just came off sites. As you see here, this spring mechanism is what actually pushes the cutting edges down. And so these cutting edges here are carbide edges and they last an incredible amount of time. We have one, it's got seven, eight years of plowing on it, it's still stock edges. Where these ones over here on the Arctic, you can see the spring mechanism for them, but those cutting edges right down there, they might last a year for us, but um, usually not quite. We also use a John Deere 6310 it's outfitted with a plow just like this, except smaller. This one is a 1219 and that 6310 has a 915. So it's kind of nice that we can multi-use these machines and uh, give us something to do in the winter. See, this is just a pickup, my pickup truck. It's got a Western wideout snow plow. We have eight of these that we use. Um, we actually don't do much plowing with trucks anymore. You see here, these are wings on the outside. They're hydraulically controlled from a controller in the cab. This thing can go from eight feet to 10 feet wide, and then it can cup here. I don't know what angle that would be, but 30 angle, 30 degrees or something like that. Uh, this one's like a year old. We usually get rid of them every three or four years or so. But these plows we feel are just superior. And the main reason we really like the mounting system. We like to be able to so there's actually a shoe on your truck right there. That comes off in the off season. So all you see is a little like C channel there and they come on and off in about 
30 seconds. I think on their website they say it's so easy a monkey could do it. And that is true. But the days when we started plowing snow 17, 18 years ago or so, all we used were eight foot straight blades. And then we'd attach like rubber mounted wings to the outside, which worked fine and all, but there's just no comparison compared to these newer plows. The lights are so much better as you can see. You can actually see what you're doing down the road. Uh, the controllers are great. Everything functions really well. But the bottom line is though, these are inefficient compared to running all of that stuff. All right, so in life, time is money, right? Well, that, that's the same, as, the same is true here for our snow business. So all of you out there that still plow and pick up trucks like that, just don't get me wrong, they're comfortable. Plows are much nicer than they were many years ago. All of you that do that need to look into things like this. I know they're expensive, and I know the barrier to entry is a little rough, but you'll find out really quick how much better you'll do, how much more profitable you'll be, and how much more fun you'll have plowing snow. Because let me promise you, plowing snow in these is a whole lot more enjoyable than plowing snow in a pickup truck. Hope you guys liked uh, checking these things out. Keep following us along and see what else we have uh, going on here soon.